everyone welcome to trending crypto today we're going to go over quant q and t up one percent at 71 dollars and 88 cents i know i've been charting quant for a while and i never said i owned quant but you guys can rejoice i officially bought quant yesterday i'm the official owner of three whole quant coins <laughs> so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on quant <laughs> If you find this content useful and you'd like to support the channel, head over to the Trading Crypto homepage where you can become a member. Click on the Join tab. It is $4.99 for a month. You get membership shoutouts, membership online chats, and priority replies and comments along with loyalty badges. With G. Okay, everyone, let's get into Quant. Quant is currently bouncing off $72. I had to go to Tether to get more data on where we are at. All the other charts for USD had us from right here on a downtrend. So we need some more data to try to decipher where we're at. So if we just draw a fib on this bad boy from bottom to the absolute top right here, and we can actually extend it down to here, um, we can try to decipher where we're at. So it's actually respecting this right now. We bounced off the 786 at around $70. We're currently, let me zoom a little bit closer, <laughs> working our way back down towards the 786, with, which isn't unlikely due to the way the market is right now. If you look at the MACD, MACD is actually about to cross bullish. RSI did get rejected, trying to come back above the 30. RSI is saying, hey, it's a great time to buy, but we just need to assess the market right now. Things are very, very shaky due to the Bitcoin drop, which was caused by Luna. Uh, you can learn more what that's about by watching the Luna, vi Luna video I just posted. But as of right now, we have a support right here. You can see in the past, back in 2021 in July, this was a great support area for us. And if we fall below that 786, the next support area is around $57. I just bought in on Luna at 75, I believe. And I'm actually thinking to picking up Luna long term. So I'm actually looking to accumulate some more Luna. And um, I was talking on the Discord and someone was saying $57, $55, and that's actually not a bad price. I think it was Zgoth. I think Zgoth said he had a buy-in order at around this price range, and that's not a bad idea right there. I might follow suit and put in a buy-in order at around $55 and see if it gets filled. Um, I mean, any chart we look at right now, everything's going to be reset. Everything's going to be very, very down. You can see we did, we're not even that far down the MACD compared to back in January 2022. But uh, MACD is about to flip bullish. RSI is still try, trying to break above 30. I'd be keeping an eye on the 786. We break above the 786. We're kind of still in no man's land. Um, all market structure is broken right now, so it's flip a coin. Um, I guess you can say, take this with a grain of salt, you can see you had some sort of bounce right here. You can say, hey, this is the next support. If we bounce off the 786, I'd be keeping an eye on around $80, $85. If we break below the 786 at $70, I'd be keeping an eye on a drop down to 60 and then 55 for quant. So inevitably, I want to be moonish and bullish on a lot of coins, but the market is really shaky right now. Right now, we're trying to just find where the coins are done bleeding out. Or if you're looking to accumulate some more, we're looking for some good buying opportunities right now. The famous words of Warren Buffett, buy fear and sell greed. And this is the fear. This is where millionaires are made, buying the dip, buying the fear. And uh, I've been buying the dip. Have you? Uh, comment below. I'd be keeping an eye on around $55. That'd be the next drop if uh, we continue dropping on quant. If we drop below 70, it'd be, I think, a slight stop at around 60. But inevitably, I think we wick down to around 55. So I'm putting a buy in order at 55. That's not financial advice. It's just what I'm doing. And if it gets hit, it gets hit. If not, so be it. I'm officially a quant holder now, so I'm going to try to accumulate as much as possible at a very good buying price. So with that, I'm probably going to be talking about what I'm trying to buy quant at from now on when I chart my quant. And as of right now, I'm gonna put a buy in order at around $55, probably 55.50 actually, and just sit on it. And in the famous words of Z got there in his lot live stream, let the dog eat and wait till it goes down there. <laughs> I probably said that wrong, probably wasn't the right analogy, but okay, this video is getting long guys. Um, not bullish, nothing's bullish right now really. We're just trying to find where the bottom is or if we have more opportunity to buy at a lower price. And I think if the 786 doesn't hold at 70, it would probably be hitting 60 for a short term, but we'd wick down to 55, in which case that's where my buying order is going to be at for some more quant. With that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like the chat, please join my Discord channel. You'll find the link below in the description.
If you like what I do and you want to support the channel, make sure you check out my OpenSea account. You'll find the link below in the description. I have NFTs starting at $5 all the way up to charting crypto OG coins. With that, let's get into the TA.